Well, Snowy Owl is the second largest owl in North America, so it stands about two feet tall. It has about a five foot wingspan. The adult males tend to be all white with a few black specks on them. And then immature birds have black speckling on the breast and on the top of the head. So there are birds that breed in the high arctic and the tundra of northern Canada. They mainly feed on lemmings, which are a small mammal, and lemming populations vary a lot from year to year. So presumably there was a large number of lemmings that were produced in eastern Canada this past breeding season in the summer, and that led to a lot of production of snowy owl young and those snowy owl young are the ones that have come to eastern North America. When you find snowy owls in Rhode Island, they're in open coastal habitats. One of the things they really like to feed on around here are ducks uh, that are on the, on the water. So they, they switch their diet, they feed on ducks, they'll feed on rabbits as well too. Snowy owls are a predatory species, and a lot of other predatory species don't like to have competitors in their home range. So they'll try and chase them out of their, their territory and get that predator out of their area. Most years, you might, might get three or fours in, in southern Rhode Island. There's been at least 20 to 30 sites that have had snowy owls, but we don't know if each site is the same individual. So I would guess there's probably been at least 30 in, in the state so far. Statue West Point National Wildlife Refuge is the place where they're very often seen. There's Charlestown Breachway is a good place, Moonstone Beach, and also Misquamacut. Everybody's kind of enamored with owls. And the nice thing about snowy owls is they're active during the daytime. They're highly visible, they're a large species. The sense of intelligence about an owl, and so everybody wants to see a snowy owl.